Good afternoon, everyone. Um, my name is Karen Blay, and I'm here to present our work on information resilience, uh, which was completed by myself, um, Dr. Peter Damon in the audience, uh, Stephen Yeomans, and Danny uh, Are. So um, this research was um, set out to identify the threats, the capabilities, and the requirements that are needed to manage, um, that, are ne that are needed to assure information quality in the midst of threat during asset delivery, that is design, construction, and operation. So we carried out this research because information, as we all know, is the core of digitization, and it's vulnerable to diverse threats from when it's created, used, through to when it's stored, reused, preserved, and also um, through to its disruption or destruction stage. These threats that we are talking about theoretically are from people, process, software, and hardware. And these affect the intrinsic, the relational, and the security dimensions of information. Imagine that you're a chief information officer. Wouldn't it be great if you knew what the threats are from these four dimensions? And wouldn't it be fantastic if you knew the capabilities and the requirements that are needed? We thought so. So what we decided to do was to study three different BIM or digitally driven enabled projects. So one was real, one was a building, and one was a road project. And across these, we identified var uh, varying threats, capabilities, and requirements. And within this, we used a critical incident technique um, to find uh, these, and we focused on the common threats that spawned across these three projects. And some threats that were coming up were within the built environment about lack of critical thinking, malicious behaviors, and access issues. And capabilities included critical thinking, the need for critical thinking, methodological mindset, having adaptable software, high capacity requirements, have a validity check process, among others. There were so many. And what we did was we've compiled all of this into this um, framework. Each stage catch, um, captures the information lifecycle stage for creation, and then each of them has a dimension that has to do with what the requirements are for security, what the requirements are for intrinsic, what the requirements are for the relational dimension. Um, and so now what? What, we, what we've decided um, after translating all of this is by identifying these capabilities, we've addressed some of the requirements set in ISO 196. And these requirements also do add up to existing policies, and we have clearly stated how uh, they can be embedded um, for the built environment. What next? We intend to transform all of this into an information resilience test, which needs more qualitative study so that we can measure the requirements and capabilities that we've identified. Information, as you and I know, is the new oil, and we need to find these threats, capabilities, and requirements to leverage it. And I believe that we all want to know more about it, so I'll recommend you read our final report on the CDB repository, and then we plan to submit a journal to uh, the Journal for Information Management System, which is currently in the process. So you can send me an email or follow us on Twitter and then I'll keep you updated on the progress. Thank you. Any questions? <laughs> <laughs>